Bob Johnson with PKNW Model Works coming at you with another video. And this time, urging you to go ahead and build your model railroading stash. We've all seen the t-shirt that says, it's not hoarding if it's model trains. Well, that's bullshit. The only way it's funny is if you think there's a kernel of truth in the fact that collecting model trains and model train supplies is somehow a mental illness. It's not, it's smart. Build your stash. This is a cautionary tale about how I failed to build my stash and why it's important for you to build your stash. The availability of hobby materials in the model train hobby is very unpredictable. And in order to overcome that unpredictability, you need to stockpile materials and supplies. In an upcoming video, I'm gonna be comparing the surgeon engineering couplers with the new Chinese equivalent. Why is there a Chinese equivalent? Because surgeon engineering went out of business and I failed to buy three or four times what I needed. I bought enough for 50 cars. I probably should have bought enough for 200 cars. So now I'm stuck looking at Chinese knockoffs. Maybe they're better, maybe they're not. I probably need to buy enough for 150 cars of the Chinese knockoff if they're any good. Because who knows how long those will be available. So I should have hoarded surgeon engineering couplers and I did not. By the way, I hope the surgeon people are doing okay and they didn't go out of business because of some drama. Hopefully they just retired comfortably somewhere. But why is it that hobby supplies are not readily available for us model railroaders? Well, the first thing is you are very special. I'm not saying that just to kiss your ass. But the reality is there's only a small fraction of the population that has the creativity, the vision, the playfulness, and the skills to execute modeling and model railroading. And so therefore there are not hobby shops in every corner like there are cell phone stores or Starbucks. So when manufacturers create materials for us in the hobby, they're only going to make a few thousand, or in the case of Craftsman kits, maybe a few hundred. So when you see something that you like, or something that you think you're going to need, you need to get it now, because it might not be available two years or ten years from now when you're building your layout, so or you're building that next layout. So you need to get them when they become available, because things are not made in mass quantities. Cars and computers are made in the hundreds of thousands, in the millions. Not so for locomotives and rolling stock and all sorts of other supplies in the model railroading hobby. So do you think model railroad control systems would be better if they were built by Apple or Microsoft? Damn right they would be. But we can't get these large multinational corporations to come into model railroading because it is a small hobby. But this introduces more instability into the marketplace and our ability to obtain materials because the manufacturers tend to be small. And because they're small, they go out of business, they don't have succession planning, or in the situations like we have now where the economy isn't good and demand for hobbies, just like demand for sports cars and sailboats is, is down right now, the demand for hobby goods is also down, these small manufacturers can't weather that kind of storm and they go out of business. And this was my experience with surgeon engineering, of course. They went out of business. I'm not sure why, but it left me in the lurch, damn it. So now I've had to go and find a Chinese knockoff and see if it's any good. So don't be me. Build your stash. You're not hoarding. It's smart. Build your stash. Until next time, Bob Johnson with PK&W Model Works signing off. Keep on modeling.